Hey ho! Oh wow, it's Kermit the Frog here. Thank you for listening to our show. Kermit, can we have another <laughs> writing contest, please? Welcome everybody. I'm Big Anklevich, and I'm Rich Outfield. And this is our drawing of the three. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> We are drawing the three words for each person who has volunteered to participate in our triple word score contest. Um, and there's a lot. Uh, so if you're not a volunteer of the contest, you may want to just, you know, skip to the next episode. I don't know. Uh, this may take a while. Yeah, yeah, this may be much more painful than, than we thought it would when we first announced the contest. Anyways. Um, hey, a big... Why don't you get your kids in here to draw some of the names? Oh, yeah. That might we, make it more interesting. We did want to do that. Hey, uh, come on over, guys. No, wait, wait, wait. Not the screaming one. <laughs> the others. Okay, so we've got the kids here, and, and then, of course, there's us, and we're going to draw all these words. Uh, everybody takes these three words, and they incorporate them into a story. 1,000 to 2,000 words. Here we go. All right. Okay, so here's our first name. It looks like our first uh, contestant is Amber MacArthur. Okay, so uh, which one of you guys is going to pick the word? Okay, go ahead. Okay, let's see. Um, Daddy? Yeah? I got the F word. Oh, I think Marshall Latham didn't quite understand the rules of the, uh, of the game. Go ahead and draw another one, okay? Okay, let's... Or, or just hand it to your brother and have him draw a word. Yeah, you, you draw one. Uh, this one also says the F word. Oh, uh, okay. Well, here. Here, you you draw one. Okay. Hey. Oh, I got the F word too. No, this isn't a good thing. Marshall. How did Marshall get so many entries into this? What? Marshall Latham and his fondness for the F word. Okay. Uh, Sorry, Amber. Let's... Good luck with that story. <laughs> okay, let, let's see if we can try this again. Let's, let's uh, give me the hat real quick. Okay, Amber, here comes your words for real this time. We got rid of Marshall's contribution. Your first word is one hit wonder. Is that a word? Yeah. That's uh, a three words. Concept? <laughs> it's a noun, right? The next one is something sinister. Oh, uh, that's right. It was sinister, and I had to change it to something sinister. The last one is face. All right. Oh, I like it. Okay. Something sinister. One hit wonder face. Okay, our next contestant is Andy Dilbeck. Yes, I guess I liked Andy Dilbeck from the beginning. He had a quiet way of walking and swishing his ass when he moved. Wow. Flashcard. Absolution. Puppet. Oh. Okay, our next contestant is Inskip. What? Catherine Inskip. Okay, her words are invention, energizer bunny, and notebook. Okay, up next is Sonny C. You may remember him from his various productions and voice work on the show. Sonny C is part of the contest, and his words are, go ahead. Outer space, desert, and phonograph. Outer space, desert, and phonograph. Have fun, Sonny. Okay, our next contestant, uh, you may have heard this name before, Brian Lincoln. Brian, oh, no. <laughs> Brian Lincoln gets scrapbook, knife, and apparently this one's blank. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. It's on the other side. And east. Is east a noun? I guess it is, right? A place that's east is the east. Okay. We should probably should have asked all our contestants to give us a pronunciation guide on their name. <laughs> Someday we'll plan ahead like that. Our next contestant's name is Donovan Kachaki. C A C A C E. Donovan, I'm going to say Kachaki because I like the way that sounds. No, no, no. How do you spell Donovan? His words are paper cut, 
Sasquatch <laughs> and Jays, as in the bird, I believe that is. J A Y S Jays, or maybe the baseball team. Another familiar name from the show you probably have heard before Clay Duggar. Clay Duggar is doing the contest, and his words are can you tell us? Sylvester Stallone. Okay, that would be Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Weird all uh, Yankovic. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Do we want to have him do that? Let's pick. go pick a different one for this one. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you want him to have Weird Al oh, Let's have two names of real people. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, right here. Here's your microphone. Read it. Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, that would be the Andromeda Galaxy, Clay. And next... Hala <laughs> Okay, that would be hallucinogen. <laughs> Have fun with those, Clay. <laughs> okay, our next contestant, someone you probably heard before on uh, a familiar name, Abigail Hilton. Let me see what word she gets. Oh, that's interesting. Ocelon. Huh. Grishnard. And... Uh, Wyvern, really? That how did? How? Okay, hey, what are the chances of that? I, I'm, I'm, let's disqualify that particular. Okay, yeah, I think she's she she must have pulled something. I don't know how that happened, but she, you're out, Abby. You don't get to participate after all. Sorry, cheaters never prosper. Okay, our next contestant is Gino Moretto. <laughs> Buongiorno, Gino Moretto. Ciao, baby. Andiamo, amici. His palabras are eggnog, <laughs> keyboard necktie. Wait, what? Keyboard necktie. <laughs> you know, like the ones that they, they wore in the 80s bands? Oh, wow. Where it was, had the keyboard on it. And soil. As in, to soil your underoos. <laughs> Or whatever other use of soil you want to use. All right, our next contestant is Zane Eddy. Zane Eddy, here comes your words. Your words are hatch, dwarf, and attack. Hatch, <laughs> dwarf, and attack. That sounds like a good story. Okay, our next contestant is Josh Roseman. Roseman. Pre previous author of ours. Forklift. Night, K N I G H T, and Jelly. <laughs> it's disturbing. And we've got another returning author volunteering for this contest. As a matter of fact, we've got a whole line of them here. Void Munashi. You may remember him from doing well in our last. Was it our last Broken Mirror or was it the Broken Mirror before? I do not know. Dax plays fair, if I remember right. And is it two eyes at the end? Yes. Hairpin. Cuisine. Snowman. Okay, our next contestant is John Ross. John Ross, here comes your words. Windshield wipers, chew toy, and brick. All right, windshield wipers, chew toy, and brick. Hope you enjoy. I really like that one. Uh, next up is Sam Schreiber, also a returning author. I will avoid going Sam Schreiber this time because it was not cool the last time I did it. Glove. Vagina. <coughs> Island. <laughs> no more vaginas. <laughs> I shouted that. And retina. You're really after a certain kind of story for this contest, aren't you? Glove. Island Retina. Okay, our next... Con <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up is Daniel Latham. What? True that. Haziness. Wraith. W-R-A-I-T-H. Wraith. Violet. As opposed to R-A-C-E, Wraith. Hey, that ain't funny, man. My sister dated a wraith for a little while there. We're not talking about running a marathon wraith. We're talking about a ghostly wraith. 
It's a funny word, rape. You don't hear it very often. Is it because it sounds like rape? Is that what it is? I don't know. Because it words? sounds like somebody saying the word race with a lisp. Okay. <laughs> your your answer is probably better. It made an awesome movie. Oh, geez. With Emilio Estevez. Do you remember there was a, right? A flick called The Wraith? The Wraith, yeah. And he was a motorcycle riding bad guy that was dead. But he wasn't a bad guy. He was like a good guy that was dead. Gant Man. Wait. That can't be his na, real na, name. Na, 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 na. Okay, our next uh, contestant has no actual name, no first name. He's just M. M. Curtis. Your words are... Bing! Nail polish. Bing! Sanitarium. Ooh! And gelatin. Wait, we had gelatin and jelly okay our next contestant larby gallagher come on with the made-up names larby gallagher gets angle spear orangutan <laughs> <laughs> i can see something going with all three of those you got to throw the spear at the right angle to get the orangutan i mean come on i don't know what you do with some of these I'm wondering if people will just give up when they hear their words and say, nah, forget it. I sure hope so. <laughs> okay, our next contestant is Julia Scott Douglas. Bolt. With the B. Bolt. Hunt. With an H. <clears throat> <laughs> and walkie talkie. Hmm. Rife with possibilities. Rife with crappy possibilities. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> I was so excited about a contest, but, uh, you know, sometimes it's best not to get what you want. Okay, our next contestant is Tibby Scott. Or what? could Tibby? Well, uh, it's possible that it's also Scott Tibby. I'm not sure. It's just that's how his email came as. Or... Her email, for that matter. I'm not sure. I think it's a picture of a cat. So okay. maybe it's just a cat. A cat named Tibby. That I can buy that. <laughs> okay. Tibby, your words are? Planet, despair, and blender. All right. Planet, despair, and blender. He's okay. got the best one. Okay. Our next contestant is Justin. Uh, I'm going to say call. Oh, Justin call kicks Friggin' A. You ready? I'm hoping that's call. It could be cow. I don't know. Cowhala. Definitely need a pronunciation guide for people's names next time. All right, Justin. Somehow the fates are with you. Explosion. Rotting wood. Death. <laughs> Isn't that it's... awesome? I considered giving those three to you. Oh, yeah, we have to do our own, huh? Okay, our next contestant. Let me guess, Tibby something? <laughs> our next contestant is Rob. I'm going to say Broughton. Oh, as in, it's already been Broughton. That's right. When you say bring it, it's, I already done Broughton it. Oh, that's horrible. What movie was that? I don't know. Okay. Probably one of those DreamWorks oh, animated I... pictures. Worse, it was one of those movies... That parodies other a bunch of other movies, oh, but right. in a very bad way. Like scary movie, like, Meet the Spartans. Epic movie or date movie. Okay. Critic. Airplane bathroom. Oh, no. Flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> Our next contestant is Kevin Sargent. His words are... Defenestration. Arrow. And flashback. Huh. Now, if your word is flashback, do you actually have to use that word or do you have to have a flashback in the story? <laughs> I say all three words have to be in the text of the story. You can't just say defenestration arrow flashback is the title of my story and talk about it although like that would be fine 
But the rules are all three of those words have to be in your story. If you got one of those multi-word words, then the multi-word version has to be in there, you know? Like one hit wonder. All three of those are your word. Right. Yeah. I see where you're going. Okay, our next contestant is Joseph Katz. Joseph Katz. Hmm. Bread. Lozenge. Bachelor party. Ooh. (laughs) Rife with possibilities. Bad ones. (laughs) Our next contestant is Dylan Stone. Headphones, candlestick, Colonel Mustard. Wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> bisque. Wait, what the fudge is bisque? I'm not sure. I think it's like a sauce. Spell or... it for me with B-I-S-Q-U-E? Yes. <sighs> like, I think a soup is called a bisque. I liked Dylan Stone. Poor like guy. a mushroom bisque, I think, is what I usually get when I go to uh, a certain Don't restaurant. Give me that. You've never been a restaurant that served bisque. Yes. Ever. I know you. One that you complain about that has small portions and high prices. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, our next contestant is George Edwards. George Edwards. Your words are sponge, shorty. Wait, shorty or shorty? Shorty. Ah, Nelly talk, shorty listen, shorty talk, Nelly listen, and Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Not sure how shorty and Abraham Lincoln can possibly go together. There's no dishonor in giving up. <laughs> Our next contestant is Bria Burton. Bria Burton, your words are... Violin. Eeriness. Morbidly obese person. All right. Wait, violet. Did I pronounce eeriness well enough that they know what it is? Oh, my Lord. Okay, our next contestant is Robin C. Rutan. Spell Rutan for me, would you? R-U-T-A-N. Uh, that's a little too simple. Spell it badly for me. R-O-O-T-T-A-N-N. Thank you. Robin, your words are ventriloquist, nose, and tornado. Okay, our next contestant up is the man who loves the F word, Marshall Latham. Marshall Latham, here come your words. Your words are starter, scarecrow, and castle. All right, starter, scarecrow, and castle. That should be right. And maybe about the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. We definitely have too many contestants. It's all right. They won't all. This thing has gotten tiresome just through naming all the words. People are going to be switching off. They're like, I'm not a contestant. F this noise. Yeah, that's why I just figured we'll just do the list itself in the actual episode. Can you imagine a three-hour episode because of this? Our next contestant is Bo Hall. Rain. R A I N Factory Bandit. Ooh. What is that noise? Our next contestant is Adam Gifford. Adam, your three words are mermaid, moth, and night. N I G H T. Adam, I think, was very troublesome on the forum. So he deserves words like and and <laughs> warped, you know, things like that. Okay. Okay, our next contestant is Christian Thompson. Christian Thompson, your words are ancestor, shaver, James T. Kirk. Huh. Yeah, he is screwed. You know, it's possible that people will be amused by this ordeal. Mm, I don't think it's possible, sir. All right. Next up, Jennifer Saar. Jennifer Saar, hopefully, 
you can do something with these words. Your words are groundhog, Mm -mm. babies, and flatulence. (laughs) (laughs) Who suggested flatulence? Good job. (laughs) Okay, our next contestant is Michael Gray. Michael Gray, here comes your three words. Students, porcupine, and paperclip. Students, porcupine, and paperclip. Our next contestant is Jennifer Gifford. Wait, that's too many Jennifers. Someday, Jennifer. Someday. Someday. Jennifer Gifford, your words are... Quiver. Winter. Vampire. Ooh, that sounds promising. Quiver, by the way, is the noun, not the verb. Oh, they can do verb if they want, right? I thought the whole thing was you can't do verbs. I know, but... You could change it into a verb if it possibly can be, is what you're but saying? But there were a couple of words that I thought, oh, geez, that's too specific. And I thought, wait, that could be interpreted in many ways. All right. Well, I guess you can interpret things if you want. Like shaver. I... It, shaver is like a razor, only it's called a shaver? What What is a shaver? I guess, yeah. It's like a something that shaves. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Our next contestant is Jose Bill. Your words are blade, vets, which I believe is plural veterans. Or veterinarians. Perhaps veterinarians as well. And avenues. Or Jose Bill. Sorry, Jose. It's the best we got for you. Our next contestant is J.M. Perkins, returning author to the show. You may remember his chemo series. J.M. Perkins, your three words are... Rod. Tool. Tallywhacker. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, yeah. You're that's... you're making this up, aren't you? Okay. Ah, I knew it. Okay, so uh, I guess we will disregard those three. That... <laughs> <laughs> there seemed to be some kind of a weird theme to those, too. I don't... Okay. I don't know. Kung Pao Shrimp. Well, maybe we should go back to the old ones for him. <laughs> King... And gimp. Ooh. Bring out the gimp. Gimp sleeping. Ryan Anderson is our next contestant. Ryan Anderson, your words are mercury, electric chair, and bomb. Hmm, that one's a little too good. <laughs> you could actually make a good story out of that. I don't know. Well, yeah, we better you change give him a up. useless word, yeah. We should have just given him Rod, a tallywhacker, and schlong. Well, my turn's coming up. <laughs> there you go. Nobilis Reed and I are going to uh, <laughs> do a joint reading of a story. I keep putting that same one back. <laughs> All right. Okay, our next contestant is William Carey. William Carey, your words are... Aurora Borealis. South... How does Aurora Borealis get to the south? Isn't those, aren't those the northern lights? You're screwed. Yeah, that's why I thought. <laughs> and last, endangered species. Oh, some kind of possibilities there. I don't know what they are, but... Our next contestant is David Caffrey. Can I use this one? This one's a not a noun. Ugh. We'll just change it to vaginosis. Blood... I'm sorry, how how would you say that if you were Stephen King? Blood, horse, and Gandhi. (laughs) I don't know what to tell you, man. Blood, (laughs) horse, and Gandhi are your three words. Okay, Amory Lowe is our next contestant. Amory Lowe, you may recall, has produced a story or two for us. I'm sure you've heard that name before. Amory Lowe, your words are... Antique, dozer. What is dozer? I think that's short for bulldozer. Haunting. Ooh. Haunting of an antique dozer. I can see that being something. 
Okay, our next contestant is Christopher Monroe. Muncie, your words are... Michael Jackson. Shoot, hold on. Now, that's amusing, dude, that a baby would cry when she says Michael Jackson. Spook and explosive. Okay, there's something about exploding and Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, explosive, spook. I think that was originally spooky, but because that isn't a noun, I had to change it. I had to change a lot of them too, yeah. Yeah, there was some a lot of people who were unfamiliar with what a noun is, apparently. No, I was too. I, I, I put words like terrible and ghastly and stuff like that, and it wasn't until I was typing them up that I realized those aren't nouns. Yeah. Okay, next up, our contestant is Austin Malone. Austin, your words are... It's a trap! Wait, really? Trap. Oh. His word is trap... Fodder. <laughs> you used to be a good smuggler, but now you're Bantha Fodder. Bantha Pudu. And Squid. Our next contestant is Hugh O'Donnell. Hey, I remember him. No, you don't. Have you seen that guy's uh, Facebook picture? No. He looks like. You know who Brian Cranston is? No. Imagine breaking like a, bad guy? a really handsome... Ver- yes, Breaking Bad Guy. Okay. <laughs> Let's try those three words, huh? Hugh O'Donnell, your words are... Punk rock. I like where this is headed. Mosquito. Mosquito. Wow. Is that like a mosquito with a mustache? And craft. Mm. Well, see, craft is vague enough it could be anything. That's true. Could be witchcraft. Could be an Could aircraft. Be one of those people that likes to make crafts, like people that used to watch Rosie O'Donnell show. I think those are called morons. <laughs> oh, okay. We're getting down to it, man. We're almost done here. Oh, thank Buddha. Okay, Wendy Conroy is our next contestant on The Price is Right. Wendy Conroy, your words are vent, mammoth, and bathtub. Wendy, you feel free to recuse yourself. We won't judge you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Andrew Odell. The fates like Andrew Odell. Too bad his parents didn't. <clears throat> Blindness. Crime. Spatula. <laughs> spatula. Okay, dude, that's it. Now all we've got left is you and I. You know, today is the uh, the 8th of, uh, of April. Yes. And Margaret Thatcher died today. And you told me she was one of the original three words. Yeah, she was. That was kind of weird. We mentioned that uh, Margaret Thatcher something. And I can't remember what the other two were, though. But uh, I made sure to put her name in the hat. But nobody drew it. Well, maybe you jinxed it, and we will now. We have two more to draw. The contestant now is Rish Outfield. Rish Outfield, your words are... Please be good. Please be good. Report. Squads. And George Lucas. You may recuse yourself. I we won't judge you. Uh, yeah. I, n- none of those words are fun. <laughs> Sorry, man. I would have what you done get. you a better service than that, I think. And now the final contestant, Big Anklevich. Big Anklevich, your words are? Yeah, sir. You have a friend in me. Agent. Doppelganger. Avalanche. Huh. I might be able to come up with something for that. All right, so uh, that's that, I guess. Uh, hopefully we can... Okay, let reiterate the rules for them now here at the end. They have until when to write what? In what way? Okay. Okay, so yeah, reiterating the uh, deal. You have one month to write your story. It must be between 1,000 and 2,000 words. 
It must contain the three words that we gave you as your prompt. You have one month, so the deadline day, the drop dead date that you must have your story turned in is May 15th. Send your story to submissions at doonsteef.com and be sure to include the word submission in the slug of your story. Make it TWSC submission and then the title of your story and your name. Basically, what we're hoping for is the best story you can come up with that includes these items that are part of your words. So, you know, we want the words, the three words to be important to your story, but we're not going to judge this contest on who best integrates their words into their story. It's more who writes the best story that includes these words that are integrated. You know what I mean? So good story is the number one criteria and, you know, moves down the line from there. But if you totally cheat and don't really use your words, you'll probably get marked down a point or more for doing so. Okay. And, you know, it's not too late to volunteer to read all of these stories and judge them. There are a lot. So it is kind of an obligation. But like, but I, like we said, they're short stories. Right, yeah, they're going to be short. So it won't be as bad as it perhaps might seem. Might be way worse. <laughs> <laughs> if, you've got, if you're writing a story and you think you might be able to use a word in a tricky sort of way, again, th that's probably fine as long as you actually incorporate the word into your story. You know, we can do a word search for your three words once the story is complete and find all three. It's okay if it's... You know, a character is named king instead of an actual king, right? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, one thing that Rich was saying earlier that may have been cut out or may not have been cut out, if you have one of those double or triple word kind of words like flesh-eating bacteria or chew toy or something like that, those words uh, are the word. So flesh-eating bacteria must be, you can't have flesh in one place, eating in another place, bacteria in another place. They go together. Anything else? No. Hey, everybody, thank you f for volunteering to enter this contest. There were way more people than we thought would do it. But yeah. in a way, it made me happy. That it's like, wow, we did something that lit the imaginations of a lot of folks up. Yeah, really excited by the level of participation this time around. Just the amount of people that signed up this time around just kind of blew me away and really makes me want to do more contests in the future because, you know, people seem to care. They They want to be a part of it, and that's... Really cool. Really exciting. Okay, one last thing. We haven't decided how many of these stories we're going to run on the show. So if there are 10 just fudging awesome stories, we're going to run 10 fudging awesome stories. If there's two that are really good and all the rest suck, then it's just going to be me and Big, really, that run our, our own story. For <laughs> yeah, so uh, usually that's kind of what we use as the cutoff. We're like, yeah, these are so, so... But from here up are, are our favorites, and we'll go with, you know, whatever that is, whatever that level is. It's not just our favorites, by the way. We will have everybody vote on the stories and then average out the votes, I think. Yep, that's right. And, and so... All the readers will read them, and they will give them scores between 1 and 10, and the highest averages are the ones that will win, that will get produced on the show. If you want to uh, produce one of these short little stories, too, let us know. We'll put you on a list. And uh, we'll send them all out. You know, there are people that are that want to produce, but they don't want to tackle a Catastrophe Baker story or something that's massive, that's going to be full of sound effects and, and physical pleasures. They want uh, <laughs> yeah, something like this, a 1,500-word story. You know, that's not going to take the rest of your month to produce. So, so uh, yeah, if you would like to be a part of that, too, go ahead and volunteer. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sending in words. And thanks for volunteering for the for the contest. Get to work. You should be writing. Your short story is waiting. So get on your way. That's right. Why not? And all that rubbish. That gets my goat on the Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine. It's published under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives license. Thanks for spending time with us. Boy, the guy that got shorty. <laughs> I, I, I would never write again if I drew Shorty. <laughs> what was I going to say? I think I, originally I put morbidly obese.
And I thought, should I put woman? Should I put man? When I realized that morbidly obese isn't a noun, ultimately I chose person. Wow, that's very politically correct of you, sir. I don't know if morbidly obese is politically correct anymore. (laughs) It's okay as long as you say person instead of man or woman. Man!